Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Leslie and if this is your first time watching, hi, I'm so glad to have you here. So I'm basically about to head out the door. Today is Sunday and I'm going into the city, which sounds like a super normal thing if you're in the UK or the US, but in Germany, usually Sundays are closed. You can't buy anything, any groceries and let alone go into department stores or like regular fashion stores. But we do have a couple of Sundays that are basically yeah, treated as every other weekday. So today is one of them and I'm about to head into the city with my mom and I guess we're just gonna browse around a bit and I figured I might as well take you along with me. We don't really have a plan yet in terms of what we're going to look at but I guess um, there are a lot of sales at the moment and I'm quickly gonna show you which bag I'm taking today because I think I've showed it a couple of times on my YouTube channel, but not that often. And yesterday I filmed my video of yeah, my best and worst luxury purchases of 2021. And I realized that this bag, wait a second, I'm going to turn you around. This is the Balenciaga Ludis in the marble black and white effect. And I did purchase it, I think like in June, July of last year. And I realized that I didn't really wear that bag that much, which is quite a shame. So I figured might as well take it out with me today. Face mask, which is a must and umbrella because it's raining quite heavily and a Zara parcel, which I have yet to return, but I don't know if I'm going to do that on my way to the train because yeah, as I said, it's quite rainy outside, but it's definitely on my to-do list for the next couple of days. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Okay, so the matching blazer is a little, I don't know, it's a little too boxy for my liking. I mean, the cut is supposed to be like that, but I'm, I'm not really that much of a fan of it. But I think I'm gonna take the shorts and the t-shirt is so cute. I'm not that much of a t-shirt person usually, but I mean, Paris Mon Amour and then the chairs that are usually green at Jardin de Luxembourg and um, Jardin des Tuileries so cute and just tried out um, a bunch of jackets to see if the shorts work with different kind of jackets and I guess it's a yes.
me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of I'm back okay actually it's been a week I was just about to edit the vlog and realized that I didn't really film an outro so I figured I might as well show you again what I purchased although you might have an idea of what came home with me I have this big shopping bag right here it says Alsterhaus which again is the department store that I went to um, it's basically like Harrods but on a bit of a smaller scale and they had so much on sale as you might have been able to tell in the vlog so yeah, I think I'm just gonna quickly whisk through the items that I purchased and I'm also going to insert mod shots. Of Not that they'd be super readily available, I guess, because they were on sale, but you might be able to find them somewhere or something similar. So we're gonna start with the two Marsh items that I purchased. I don't think I ever bought something from Marsh because usually at like full price, they are a little expensive in my opinion. I'm more of a Zara kind of girl, but on sale, I was able to justify getting this beautiful pair of tweed shorts. They are, again, they were on sale. Let me quickly check. The original price used to be 195 euros, which for recycled polyester is a little expensive if you ask me. I ended up paying 40% off, which is 170 euros. Still quite a lot of money, but I thought tweed shorts, again, you can find tweed shorts and in general like shorts at Zara, but I really like the color combination. As I showed you in the vlog, the shorts came with a matching blazer, which I mean, the combination did look quite cool and yeah, kind of preppy gossip girl meets Emily in Paris vibes. But um, the blazer was in a 38, which is a medium and usually I'm a 38 especially considering my height and all but i don't know i wasn't really convinced with the cut of the blazer it was really boxy and made me look super wide so i didn't end up getting the blazer plus i think even on sale the blazer was like 210 euros and uh, i wasn't really comfortable spending that amount of money but the pair of shorts went home with me again i'm going to insert a mod shot clip and yeah 
you can tie it right here and cinch it in the waist and you have these pockets which are actually functioning pockets which is great yeah really happy with my shorts purchase and the second marge item that i purchased is um, the paris t-shirt i think it said paris mon amour and then it had either Jardin de Luxembourg or Jardin des Tuileries with these like chairs. I can't show you the t-shirt because it's currently in the wash and yeah, I didn't want to wait with filming this video, but I can tell you that I did pay 51 euros, which for a t-shirt is quite up there, but um, yeah, again, I really like the design on the t-shirt. And one thing I did mention in the vlog part that I'm not that much of a t-shirt person, just to <laughs> explain what I mean by that, because some of you may be like, how can someone not be a t-shirt person? I don't get it. Number one, I don't like wearing short sleeve stuff. It's just, yeah, an insecurity of mine, I guess. And I'm also not a like design on your t-shirt or like embroidery stuff or yeah, kind of cartoonish stuff on your t-shirt either, but I figured I might as well make an exception because the Paris design really spoke to me because I went to Paris like two months ago at this point and I really want to go back. But yeah, just thought I'd clear the air about me not being a t-shirt person, that's why. Oh, and by the way, the SA in Marsh was so nice and so pretty and obviously she wore like Marsh head to toe, super skinny, so all those boxy blazers looked amazing on her and I think she also wore kind of a blazer and then yeah tweed short combination and she was so nice to put a little something in my shopping bag i haven't checked out what it is it says marsh on this like dust bag right here oh okay uh, it's just a super tiny or like very thin bracelet on a cord the cord is like a purpley shade which i think is a trend shade for 2022 but i'm not too up to date with that i wouldn't mind purple being on trend because i do have two purple handbags my mcm mila and my balenciaga city but i digress so yeah this like purpley cord bracelet with a little gold cube with with a heart on it and i think the marsh logo yeah we'll see if i actually wear it but gift with purchases aren't really that common in germany not as common as in the us um, at least so the fact that she just put it in my shopping bag was super nice and i think marsh is a french brand but correct me if i'm wrong and the next item which is already my last item i feel like i went crazy but also not really oh okay i purchased a longchamp bag a travel bag but i yeah film that in a separate video but um, the last item that I'm going to show you in this video is kind of hard to show you on camera but that's what the mod shots are for this is a beautiful uh, I'm, I'm just obsessed with the shade of green Patricia Pepe which I believe would be a Spanish designer I, I was a little hesitant because I mean this one was also on sale let me quickly check you I did see oh, there we go Okay, I paid 224, which I mean for a coat and coats are something that you're going to keep for a couple of seasons or like several years for sure, especially when you buy a more high end coat and chances are that the quality is really good. I think 224 is okay ish and the original price was 448 euros. So I got it like half off, which is amazing. And it's in the size medium and you will see in the mod shot that I might have gotten away with a 36, which would be a small, but this was the last size. So I was like, at least I can wear something bulkier underneath without yeah, me looking like a sausage. It also came with a matching belt, which is amazing. Oh, the shade of green or like, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's green, like light petrol greenish such a beautiful color that would also look amazing in an Hermes handbag and for reference by the way for every mod shot that I'm showing I'm 178 centimeters which should be like 510 just for reference and this is quite a long coat you will see it um, when I try it on but yeah I really like the look of the coat and um, also the pockets are functioning which is always great and yeah on the back you have um, Patricia uh, think you might be able to tell it's like embroidered down here Patricia Pepe so happy that I purchased this one despite it being maybe a little too big but I can definitely work with that and in general I think a lot of people don't know about Patricia Pepe which is quite a shame because in particular when it comes to their coats and jackets 
I'm such a fan. Okay, this is only my second coat that I own from Patricia Pepe, but I also have another one. Wait a second. This one right here. If you watched my Paris vlogs, you will have definitely seen it. And this, by the way, is the Patricia Pepe logo. Hope you can see it. This I also purchased in the Alster House sale, I think towards the end of 2020, which feels like ages ago. But yeah, I also bought this one in the sale and it just looks so nice on me. Like I, I really enjoy these kind of puffery um, winter coats, but still figure hugging because you have the belt and yeah, just such a fan of Patricia Pepe. And I feel like a lot of people don't know the brand, which again, I feel um, that should change because their items are amazing. And apparently they usually go on sale, which is great because I don't think I would have paid like almost 500 euros for a kind of unique shade um, when it comes to a coat, but at 50% off, I was definitely prepared to pay that. And yeah, really happy with all the items that I got. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know what you think about this like combination of a vlog portion and then the haul and tryout portion just incorporated into the video. Also, this kind of vlog format is a little new for me because today wasn't about handbags and going to Chanel or Hermes, YSL, what have you, and show you handbags and try them on. This was more a fashion focused vlog and haul. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos. I'm not the most fashionable person and I don't shop that much but yeah let me know what you think about the items that i got if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up that would really help me out also consider subscribing and yeah turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos i upload every wednesday and i would love to have you back until next time bye I'm